Now you've created some movies with green screen that you use with your students. What, what got you into that? Uh, in my classes, I use video all the time, uh, almost every day, sometimes documentaries, but a lot of times I use Hollywood movies. Um, they're never perfect history, but they usually do a good job of reflecting something that I want to teach them from history. And the students know those movies, so there's usually some attraction they get there. In my face-to-face -face class, when I do that, it's really simple. I'll stop in the middle. Sometimes I'll show a five-minute clip, and I'll stop three times before it's over. Sometimes I'll wait to the end. But I can explain what they just saw. Because, again, it's not completely accurate history, so it's not just, hey, watch this, now you've learned. It's watch this, they're going to give you um, a flavor or, or an idea that really I think is very, very useful. But my online students, I can't do that. And so I um, was speaking w with you, James, but I was speaking with Rob McCaffrey and thinking, what's a way I could do that? And clearly, for the past 20 years at least, aware of how green screen has really exploded um, in Hollywood. And I thought, maybe I could do that. What if I just showed up in the middle of this clip that helped explain something to my students so then I could use it online? And that was kind of the genesis of the whole idea, was trying to find a way to use the same clips that I use in class, but use it in my online environment, um, put it in Blackboard, and the, my students there could get uh, kind of what it is I'm wanting them to learn from this point. So what exactly is green screen? Well, you're talking to a novice. I don't, um, I'm not the Hollywood expert, but uh, the general idea is that you can film yourself um, behind a single colored screen. I think normally green is the screen. I think you can do it with other colors, but it has to be like one solid color. Um, and you can film yourself, so like I'm sitting here right now, and so you could take then, and the computer has a way that you can then reinsert something behind it by eliminating um, the, the, the solid color. So with the video clips that I used, um, I had taken obviously the, the short clip from you know the movie The Patriot, or there's a, it was a documentary uh, that HBO did about John Adams, um, uh, used Monty Python's uh, The Holy Grail, and so just took a, a, a moment where I wanted to be at a certain spot and then you know, mimicked what I wanted to do in front of the solid color. And then through the miracle of computers, uh, I was in a position to be able to then eliminate that color and reinsert, in essence, insert me or the clip of me sitting and talking or standing and talking into that very scene. How have your students responded to the videos? I hear from students uh, every semester. Um, that they appreciate the videos. Not all of them say anything. Um, I have it embedded in discussions, so like I have a discussion prompt where the video is like right there, they have to watch that. Most of my discussions have a video prompt, not all of them, but most of them do, and so some of the ones of the videos I've made, others I've used embedded with an assignment, so they have to watch it in order to, to kind of work their way through the assignment or understand what I'm really trying to ask them for the discussion. So they seem to appreciate it, uh, they find it helpful. I've, I've embedded a lot of video of myself, not all green screen, um, online, and I've heard from several students talking about how they really appreciate kind of the engagement aspect of being able to put a face and a voice with um, like things I've typed. Otherwise, later I type something, they still know my voice because they've seen these videos and it helps with the learning. Do you know of any other professors who are using green screen with their students? Uh, yes, I, mean, I, I would more of I've heard of, I've heard of people doing it. Um, most of what I think I've heard are people who use it relative to introducing their course. You could introduce a course, so imagine the first thing your students see when they land it on Blackboard. Or you could probably embed the video uh, into an email that's sent out. And so the very first thing they see is a video from you, and they open it, and there you are, and you're actually in the course. So you're standing there in the Blackboard shell. And there's different ways to do that, and there's people around here at all the campuses, or I think all the campuses, certainly the main campuses who could help in the process.